Hi everyone in online land, this is Eric Rodebois, EPGD Business Law. I promise you I'm going to try and do more of these. The hourglass, the sands of time are coming. We're going to try and keep this five minutes or less. All right, so today uh, I'm always on the same theme. you got to get everything in writing. Why? Because people lie, people change their stories, people die. Um, a lot of times memories are fade and it's hard to remember what, what, what the deal is. So a very simple deal, I, I, I always joke the first partnership was a handshake. And then the last partnership I just did was a 50 page contract. And how did it go from that a couple thousand years ago to this now? And it has a lot to do with people fighting about money. So today I want to talk about employment. Okay? So, um, and, and just to cut to the end, if you hire someone, you need to get an employment contract. I'll even tell you a story to back it up. So imagine this is everybody in the world who works. We'll call this the working world. Okay? There's an imaginary line down the middle. I'll call it workers. There's an imaginary line down the middle, and it's imaginary because it's defined by statute, and it's kind of squishy, and it changes, but basically on this side, we've got people who are independent, and on this side, we've got people who are employer, employees, okay? So under our laws in the United States of America, independent people, we, a lot of times we call them independent contractors, have a lot of different responsibilities uh, for their taxes, for like, overtime, whatnot, than people who are employees. This imaginary line is called control. So if I control their schedule, if I control the manner of how, of how they do their work, when they do their work, what they do their work with, it's an employee if they control it themselves. So I like to say if you hire a guy to paint your house but he can come whenever he wants, that's independent. If you hire a guy to paint every day and you give him the paintbrush, he's an employee. Now there's another imaginary line right here and that's between hourly people and salary people. Now, why do I say that's imaginary? Because that one's defined by statute by the Fair Labor Standards Act. So these people are entitled to overtime, and you have to keep track of how much you pay them and how much they work. That's when you see like the punch cards, or all of my assistants have to keep, uh, they have to enter their time at the end of the week on like a spreadsheet. And these people, you can just pay them a salary, and you can make them work as many hours as you want, and you don't have to pay them overtime. All right, so that is literally like the fastest nutshell on employment law. It's obviously such a complicated matter. Um, if you have questions, we, we, we can go on for this for hours. So if you do have questions, email me. But what I want to talk about is employment contracts. So you can have a salary person with an employment contract. You can have an hourly person with an employment contract. And you can have an independent contractor with an independent contractor agreement. Please don't use the word employee or employer in your independent contractor agreement contracts. Okay? So the difference between all three is really on this line right here in the middle. And that really comes down to what kind of restrictions can I put on my employees versus what kind of restrictions can I put on my independent contractors. Now I can make all of them agree to confidentiality. I can make all of them agree not to disparage me or, or my business. I can make all of them agree not to steal my other employees. I can make all of them agree not to try and steal my clients. Now, I can't make the independent guy agree not to compete because he's independent. He, he, that's what he does. Whereas these guys, I can make them agree not to compete. I can make them sign a non-competition agreement and every jurisdiction is a little different. But for example, in Florida, a three-year non-compete for a five-mile radius from your business, for example, um, with a tightly defined Thing, like for example, uh, well, I can't use a law firm for example because we aren't allowed to, to use non-competes for other lawyers because that's their livelihood. But for example, one of my assistants, I can make them sign a non-compete and say, please don't go work for another business law, law firm. Um, and in fact, that was what I negotiated. One of my assistants said, hey, listen, I got a family. You know, I don't want you to cut off my livelihood. And I said, all right, how about this? You want to go work for a family law firm, a personal injury law firm? You want to go work for any of that? I don't care. But um, So the other day, a guy gives me a call. And he says, hey, I had this guy, he was hourly, and I paid him a commission, and he was doing sales. Um, and I found out he did this really bad thing, and because of the way my business is set up, I had to let him go. So um, I asked, did you have a contract? And of course he said he had nothing. Nothing in writing, old friends, did it on a handshake. And I said, oh man. He goes, what do you mean? I'm like, well, all those restrictions I just talked about, you can't say any of them. Now, the law says that People aren't allowed to steal your files. They aren't allowed to steal your clients' list. You know, there's certain trade secrets and know-how. Florida has a trade secrets act. Um, of course, uh, if he goes around and he disparages you, you can sue them for defamation. Like, there's still a lot of ways you can protect yourself. But on day one, when they walk in and they want the job, and you say, here, sign this. Now, by the way, 
please let them go home and read it with their lawyer and you know they can come back the next day don't don't lock them in a room but if you get it in writing and you get it signed you're much more protected and frankly you get your lawyer to draft it once so you can reuse it over and over again all right this is eric rodebois saying goodbye and i'm off to go see my friends